What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Cilio's Network. Today, we are looking at two different Silvali GX-based decks that I've been working on. The first one we're going to look at is Silvali GX Buzzwall. So, we also have other fighting-type Pokemon in here aside from Buzzwall, but we'll get to that very soon. Um, so, this deck hits Fighting Weakness and Psychic Weakness because of Silvali's Psychic Memory. Also, Silvali can make use of strong energy while it has its fighting memory attached to it. Um, we're choosing Fighting Fury Belt here because we want to um, attack with Buzzwall and Zygarde a lot, and then the memories will probably be attached to Silvali whenever it's attacking, so we won't really need Choice Band. <clears throat> um, so let's get into the list. We're starting out with one Orangaroo for uh, some extra draw support. We have three type null. So this is Silvalli's um, basic form. Uh, nothing too special about it. Armor press 30 and it takes 30 less next turn. 110 HP, so that, that HP is really, really good. So it's not really a target for devolving like um, like Zorark is, because Zorark's basic form only has 60, Galissapod's basic form only has 70, Type Null has 110, so that's really amazing. Then Silvalli GX has 210 HP, uh, we're playing three of these, one is a different art, so it only says two right here. So 210 HP, colorless type, uh, ability, your basic Pokemon in play have no retreat cost. That's really cool because Zygarde and Regirock and Buzzwell, I believe they all have at least two retreat cost. Regirock has three, Zygarde has three, and Buzzwell has two, and Oranguru has two. So all those guys have no retreat cost, so that's really nice. Um, Turbo Drive, its first attack for three colorless energy which will usually be a DCE and a Fighting Energy, or a DCE and a Strong if you have Fighting Memory attached. Attach a um, 120 damage and attach a Basic Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Um, so we're hitting 120. <sighs> Excuse me. If we have a Memory on, then we might also be hitting for Weakness, and we're putting an Energy from the discard onto one of our bench Pokemon. So really solid. Um, its GX attack will usually be one-shotting something. This attack does 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So that could do up to 250 damage in standard. Because 5 bench Pokemon is the limit in standard with no Sky Field around. So up to 250 damage for 3 energy. Um, really good GX attack. It's usually one-shotting something. It's weak to fighting. But, uh, Buzzwall being the popular fighting Pokemon right now in the TCG, being weak to Psychic, we can just pop a Psychic Memory onto Silvalli, and these, the Silvalli and Buzzwall are weak to each other. So, Silvalli usually has the upper hand there, because Buzzwall needs three fighting energy to one-shot Silvalli, and Silvalli needs a DCE and a fighting energy. So, Silvalli will usually be winning that fight. Next, we have three Buzzwall. Again, it's going to say two here because um, one is a different art. So we're playing three Buzzwall GX. This is probably the most hyped card out of Crimson Invasion. 190 HP, basic GX. <sighs> Excuse me. Fighting type. Um, Jet Punch for one fighting energy, which can be a fighting or a strong. Does 30 damage and then 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So if you have a strong energy, it does 50 and 30. If you have a strong and a fighting fury belt, it does 60 and 30. If you have both of those and a Regirock on your bench, it does 70 and 30. So you can really spread a lot of damage with this. Knuckle Impact for 3 energy does 160. And Absorption does 40 for each of your remaining prize cards. Now with the additional damage from strong energy and Regirock and Fighting Fury Belt, you'll hardly ever be doing the damage that's actually printed on the card. You'll usually be doing a little more. So next is Regirock EX. Um, basic 180 HP. That's really good because it's just a support Pokemon, so it'll mostly be sitting on the bench. 
Um, its ability is the attacks of your fighting Pokemon, excluding Regirock, do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So this is just there to amplify your Zygarde and your Buzzwall's damage. Also, I'm sorry, if you have Fighting Memory attached to Silvalli, um, this is also adding damage to Silvalli's attacks because Fighting Memory makes Silvalli a fighting type Pokemon. Next, we have Zygarde EX. 190 HP fighting type, so again, it's really bulky. Um, it has three different attacks, and it's also weak to grass, while Buzzwall is weak to psychic. So we have a different attacker here, uh, a different weakness attacker. So if your opponent's playing psychic type, you can just switch over to Zygarde and start attacking with that so they can't hit for weakness. 190 HP fighting. Uh, Lance Pulse, 20. If there's a stadium card in play, it does 20 more. So we have three Potown in this deck. So let's say there's a Stadium, it does 40. There's a Regirock on the bench, it does 50. There's a Strong Energy attached, it does 70. There's a Fighting Fury Belt on your Zygarde, it does 80. So Zygarde is going to be doing a lot of damage for just one energy, just like Buzzwall is. It's really, really cool because we have so many things adding damage in this deck. Cell Storm, 60 and heal 30. It's a solid attack. Again, it probably won't be doing 60. It'll probably be doing something more like 80 or 90. And you're healing 30 damage. So not bad for a bulky EX like Zygarde. Especially if you have a Fighting Fury Belt. This thing is a monster. 230 HP. And you can heal it. So really cool. Lands Wrath. For two fighting and a colorless. 100. So um, <clears throat> you'll probably be using Lands Wrath for one shots. Maybe you have two strong energy. That's 140. Then a Regirock on the bench, that's 150. And then a Fighting Fury Belt, that's 160. So once you hit something a little bit with Buzzwall, maybe it has 30 on it already, you can Guzma it up and kill it with a 160 Lands Wrath from Zygarde. So like I said, there's a lot of dam there's a lot of things to add damage in this deck, so it's really, really cool. Um we have an Espeon EX, which has been a super popular card. I'm really happy about it because spreading is damage spread has always been a, um, one of my favorite strategies in the game, and it's really, really powerful right now. So Buzzwall um, hits the bench, and we also play Potown, so it seems likely that Espeon EX will come in and do some work, and it does. Um, against Gardevoir, if they're not playing Mime, you just spread the damage, Potown um, hits 30 on some of their evolutions, you Miraculous Shine, you take multiple prize cards. This goes for pretty much any evolution deck, Decidueye, Metagross, Gardevoir, uh, even Stage 1 evolution decks it can do some work against. And then we have three Tapu Lele GX for its Wonder Tag ability, and we have DCE in this deck, so we might use uh, Energy Drive every now and then. So that's it for the Pokemon. Uh, a lot of cool Pokemon in this deck. We have Zygarde, Regirock, Buzzwole, Silvalli. Uh, Type Null is even kind of a cool Pokemon. So it's a fun deck to play. Uh, and a lot of different things going on. Zygarde has a lot of attacks. Buzzwole has three attacks. So uh, it's really fun to play and it's refreshing because not every game is the same. So let's move on to the items. Crap, I just <laughs> I just clicked on Super Rod and took it out of the deck. Hang on just a second there. There we go. Alright, we're back in action. So, let's start out with Super Rod. Uh, we're playing one Super Rod um, in case we need to get back some Pokemon or some basic energy. Um, if we are attaching Psychic Memory to... Excuse me. Sorry about that. If we're attaching Psychic Memory to Silvalli, we can only use DCE and Fighting Energy. We can't use Strong Energy. So maybe we need some of our Fighting Energy back. Uh, Espeon, maybe Espeon got knocked out and we want to use it again. Let's bring that and its Fighting Energy back. Four Ultra Ball, pretty standard. Um, we're playing three Potown. Uh, this is really good, like I said, against evolution decks. You put three damage counters on a Pokemon every time it evolves. It also hits your Soul Valley. 
but we'll usually evolve Sylvalia and then put this down. Even if we don't, three damage is not that big of a deal since type null is 110, so we're not a target for um, devolving unless they put a lot of damage on us. One Bridget um, to set up our type null, our buzzwall, our Oranguru. We're also playing, I'm just going to skip down here to the fan club. We are playing one fan club since Regirock and Zygarde are EXs. Sometimes we'll want to search for two Regirock, put them on the bench to do extra damage, and we can't do that with Bridget. We could search for one Regirock with Bridget, but fan club lets us get two basic Pokemon. I just deleted fan club. I'm a mess. But Fan Club lets us get two basic Pokemon from our deck and put it in our hand so we can even get a Lele and hold it for the next turn. Next we have four Sycamore, pretty standard. Um, it could even help us get an energy in the discard so that Sylvalee's attack um, attaches the energy from the discard. Uh, one Skyla, so a lot of times we'll really need a fighting memory or a psychic memory, so one Skyla to fetch that out of the deck, we can even search for it. We can go Lele, Skyla, get the memory you want, attach it to the Sylvalee, and then hit for weakness. Um, four Fighting Fury Belt to make Buzzwool and uh, Zygarde as big as they can get. One, 230 HP is really, really nice. Not a lot of things are going to be killing that. And then two Fighting Memory, if you haven't seen these, they're pretty cool. Um, the Sylvalee GX this card is attached to is a Fighting Pokemon. And then we have Psychic Memory, the Sylvalee GX card. This The Sylvalee GX this card is attached to is a Psychic Pokemon. So it changes your type, really, really cool. Then we have four Strong Energy, which can only be attached to a Fighting Pokemon and provides one Fighting Energy. And the attacks of that Fighting Pokemon do 20 more damage. 4 DCE, and 5 Fighting Energy. So, that's our Sylvalee GX Buzzwool deck. I am also uploading um, a PTC Geo battle with this deck at the same time as this deck profile, so you can go ahead and check this out. Since this is the week of Crimson Invasion's release, I'm uploading more than one video a day. Today is a triple video upload. I'm uploading this deck profile on two Sylvalee GX decks, and then I'm also uploading a battle with each of the decks that I'm showcasing here, just to show you them in action. So, that is Sylvalee GX Buzzwool. And we're going to go over to my Sylvalee box. So, uh, this is what I'm calling Sylvalee box, it's basically just Sylvalee and a few different attackers. Um, it's focusing on the damage spread, so it might just turn into Sylvalee spread. Um, I also have Drampa there, which doesn't really spread any damage, so that's a little different. But let's get into this thing, guys. So we got one Drampa GX because it's so powerful. We're running Poe Town, so Berserk can end up doing 180 with a choice ban on turn two if you evolve into the Poe Town. Righteous Edge is always really sick. If your opponent has a DCE, you just hit them for 20, and then they don't have a DCE anymore. Maybe even 50 if you have a choice band attached. <clears throat> uh, next, we have one Oranguru for draw power, like in our other Sylvalee deck. Um, it's just something nice to have to be some sort of end proof at late game. If you get end down to one card, you draw your top deck to two, or in Guru, you draw a third card. So it just helps you out a little bit. Um, we're playing four type null in this deck since Sylvalee is your main attacker here. In the other deck, Buzzwall shared the spotlight, but here it's pretty much all about Sylvalee. So we have four three Sylvalee GX, uh, four type null, three Sylvalee GX. I'm not going to go over this card too much since we just went over it for Buzzwall, but um, the Turbo Drive is really nice. A lot of energy excel in this deck between Turbo Drive and the Shining Mew, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, Espeon EX to Devolve. Latios, uh, Breakthrough 30 and 30. So like I said, we're focusing on the damage spread here a little bit more with Potown and Latios and the Krozma. Um This is also really cool against Buzzwall decks. <sighs> Excuse me. Because uh, Breakthrough will do... 60 to the Buzzwall if it's active and 30 to a bench because Buzzwall is weak to Psychic. If you attach a Choice Band, you'll be doing 120 to Buzzwall for just a DCE with Latios. 
or you can attach a psychic energy and a DCE and a choice band and just one shot the buzz wall altogether. So uh, let's go over to Necrozma GX. So this is um, a card that I really, really like the GX attack of. I think it's going to start shining a little bit more in standard format. We saw Necrozma Guard be really popular in expanded, but I think it's going to start doing some work in standard now too. So Black Ray GX is the attack we're looking at. This attack does 100 damage to each of your opponent's GX and EX Pokemon. So you're putting 100 damage on a lot of Pokemon on your opponent's board. Um, what makes Necrozma a threat in this deck, I think, is that you can attack with Shining Muse Legendary Guidance. Search your deck up for up, search your deck for up to two energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like, then shuffle your deck. So you can put out a Shining Mew, use Legendary Guidance, search for a psychic two psychic energy attach one to necrozma and one to one to soul valley they can't possibly guzma up both and kill both so you have a really good attacker halfway powered up for the next turn you could go aggressive and search for two dce and attach both of them but we don't know if our opponent's playing cartana or enhanced hammer so that's a little more risky sometimes i will search for dces maybe one DCE and one Psychic, or two DCE, and take the risk and say they can't possibly get rid of both. Um, we can also set up a Drampa and a Necrozma, attaching DCEs to both, or Psychic Energy to both. So Legendary Guidance is just ridiculous. Um, I really, really love Shining Mew. Uh, and then we just have three Tapu Lele for Wonder Tag. We have Psychic Energy, so we might use Tapu Cure once every 50 games or something. Uh, we have... 4 DCE, so we might use Energy Drive. Uh, yeah, so there's all the Pokemon. Like I said, this deck is focusing on the damage spread a little more with Sylvalli as its big hitter, and then you spread damage with Latios and Necrozma and Potown. So it's a really fun deck to play. Uh, Super Rod, we have one, four Ultra Ball, three Potown, one Bridget, four Guzma. Um, so once we Necrozma and hit everything for 100, if we're if we can't devolve the Pokemon, let's say we're playing against something like Volcanion and everything's basic, we just Guzma up everything that was damaged and just one shot them with whatever attacker we have at our disposal. Then we have four N and four Sycamore, pretty standard. We're playing with two Skyla so we can get the Po Town or the uh, the memories in a pinch. Um, we are playing three Choice Band. Two Fighting Memory, two Float Stone, and two Psychic Memory. Um, I'm playing now. So Valley GX does give uh, your basic Pokemon in play have no retreat cost. Um, that could get turned off, and it's not too big of a deal. But also, if we can get that turn one Shining Mew, that's just so so good. If we're going second, so I did add two Float Stone in just in case of that. The two Float Stone aren't very important, so if I find something that I want in the deck, the Float Stone can come right out. And then we finish it off with four DCE and eight Psychic Energy. So the plan with this deck is. You want to start with attaching to a type null and then next turn attach a DCE or a psychic energy, whichever wasn't attached originally, to Sil Valley, get a psychic energy in your discard and start turbo driving and excelling energy. Uh, like I said, Shiny Mew is really good if you can get legendary guidance off early. Necrozma spreads the damage. Latios helps with spreading the damage a little and it hits for weakness on Buzzwool. And then Espeon EX, you devolve everything. If the devolve isn't going to work, if you're playing against big basics or they have a Mr. Mime or you just can't get the damage spread off for some reason, so Valley GX, it hits for fighting weakness and psychic weakness with its memory cards. Um, and so Valley GX does a lot of damage with Rebel GX. So. Uh, it's a and we also have Drampa as a big hitter, so I think it's a really fun deck. It's it has a couple different game plans. You can either just swing with your big attackers, or you can um, spread and then devolve. Either way, you're probably going to get some energy excel in there. Uh, so it has a backup plan. I think it's really fun. So Valley GX is a cool card. I'm loving getting you Shining Mew finally. I'm excited about all these new Shining Legends and Crimson Invasion cards. So I hope you guys liked these deck profiles on two different Soul Valley GX based decks. You can click the links in the description to watch PTC, <clears throat> excuse me, PTCGO battles with both of these Soul Valley variants. Please subscribe and like and comment if you enjoyed what you saw. 
and I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.